Hey guys, in this segment I'm going to be reviewing -da 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 -da, this ugly, fugly, beautiful model, the Tyranid Turvagon. Now, this is the new model. It's been out for a decent amount of time, but I finally picked it up and got it built. Let's see if we can get that nice view. And freaking hard to see the details with this camera. But we got little dudes poking out of its belly, little termagants. Now, this set also comes with. Uh, the options to make a Tyranifex, which is a cool looking model, it's a cool idea. I'm not a huge fan of how it plays in the games, I feel it's a little bit too expensive for what it does, but that's just my opinion. Now, um, look at that, little ball sacks where little dudes come out of. I love it, this thing's awesome. It's tongue too, it's like a foot long. Amazing. So. Basically what I'm trying to say is, I really like this model, and uh, if you have a chance to pick it up, if you got dinero, I would very much highly recommend it. If you don't have the money, steal it from somewhere, get 60 bucks, I believe is how much it costs, get one of these, highly recommend it. Um, now here's going to be my idea, let's go look at this guy right there, creepy ass little face. So I was thinking, you know, take a few of these termagants off of their bases and uh, stick them on here. Oh, here's a size comparison. Here he is against a few termagants. Size them up. Um, if you see in one of my other videos, my Tyranid Harpy conversion. I'll stand him next to my Harpy really quickly. Just get him. Ah! So he's pretty, still pretty big. Feel like they'd be pretty good opponents, size-wise. But anyway, here he is. Maybe you know, idea: stick a few termagants in there, make it look a little bit more like he just gave birth. Now, um, for using him in the game, using this beauty in the game. So, if you're going to use it, I would recommend getting a few. I think it would be a terrible, awful idea if you only ran one or two of these. Now, the reason that being is because it spawns kill points for the other character. For the other opponent. For your opponent, sorry. Now, if you are running three or four of these guys, which I do, I run four to five, then you can just overrun the person with little gaunts. And it just eventually is just too much to handle. You blow them off the table and just... Even though what I've seen happen to me mostly is they get a ton of kill points, but I end up wiping out their whole force and winning. And um, he also spawns, the greatest thing is they spawn objective holders. So lay him down in front of a few objectives, roll 3d6, get a ton of termagants, sit him on endlessly in, ton in front of the objectives, shoot at a few guys when they can run up, and then hold the objectives and win the game. Now what I like to do, as I said, was I like to run four of these guys. I like to run two as HQ, uh, two as troops. Now to do troops, you have to have a squad of termagants with them. So I do two squads of 20 termagants, and then two more of these guys for troops. Then I believe I do, for my elites, I do the hive guard, I think they're called, the guys with the big rifles that just blow crap apart, sit behind a building 18 inches away and shoot dudes. Then I have uh, three zone throps to take care of any big things with their lances, any armor. Um, of course, take a doom. Always take a doom. Always, 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 always take a doom. But make sure that when you, t if you take a doom, to put him in a mycetic spore. Never, ever take a doom of Melanti and don't put him in a mycetic spore. That is the biggest mistake you'll ever make because he'll just get ripped apart before you can even do anything. Um. So. That's generally what I do for heavy. Oh, then for heavy support, I take two Carnifexes. I believe I give them Twin Link Devourers, the quick little shooters, and put them in my set explorers, drop them down, and bring them in front of their front line and shoot everything up. That's all. Bye.